In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God forever. Amen. Christus Anisti, Alithus Anisti. Christ is risen. He is truly risen. My beloved brothers and sisters, today is the sixth Sunday of the Holy 50 Days, just a week before the Pentecost. So what does the Lord want us to do during this week? As it is written in the Liturgy Gospel today, Most assuredly I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Until now you have asked nothing in my name. Ask and you will receive that your joy may be full. That's very surprising for us. The Lord, the Lord is revealing that until now we have asked nothing. And also he is revealing another fact is the power of his name. He's saying whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. So let us, with the grace of God, ask him to reveal this to us. The first message is the name of God. You all know that in the Old Testament, Pharisees and scribes, they couldn't write God's name or pronounce it any time. They knew that God's name means his presence. And that's why they used to have certain rituals before they write God's name, like washing their pen and other rituals. And they were very cautious when to pronounce it. And they knew that if they pronounce God's name in vain, they will be punished. In the New Testament, also the disciples, they recognized this fact from the time Christ sent them to heal the sick and preach his name. They came back to him and said, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. You all remember St. Peter when he went to the temple after the Pentecost and met the paralyzed man. He said, silver and gold I do not have. But what I do have, I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. What is this? There is power in the name of Jesus Christ. It's meaning God the Savior. It signifies that God is present with us. One of the Greek Orthodox father said, The very name itself was lived as a presence of God. The name contained twofold power, a sensation of the living God for one part and knowledge of him for the other. This was Archimedes of Roni. In our Coptic church, our forefathers from the first church, they applied this fact and they lived this blessing. Every verse in the Sunday Psali, we say, my Lord Jesus Christ, help me. Also in Wednesday Psali, there is a very nice verse. Yet we truly have the precious peril of great price, which is the sweet name full of glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. The sweet name full of glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. This how our fathers lived and how they believed that with the name of God, they feel the presence of God and the power of God. The second message today is the Lord is encouraging us to ask in his name. And he said, until now we have asked nothing. So how it comes, because we ask on daily basis for our needs. We ask for food, we ask for health. We ask, we ask for healing, for protection, for success. We ask for the future. But the Lord is saying, until now, you have asked nothing. Let's go back to the story of King Solomon to clarify this for us. After King Solomon was enthroned to be the king after his father David, the Lord appeared to him and, king, and said to King Solomon, what do you want me to give you? And King Solomon said, Now, O Lord, my God, you have made your servant king instead of my father, David. But I am little child. I do not know how to go out or come in. And your servant, in the midst of your people, whom you have chosen, a great people, too numerous to be numbered or counted. Therefore, give to your servant an understanding heart to judge your people 
that I may discern between good and evil. For who is able to judge this great people of yours? Did you watch this? King Solomon didn't ask for any materialistic request. He only asked for wisdom. The right thief on the cross asked for the kingdom of God. He said, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. This the Lord is telling us to do. Ask for the heavenly. Ask for the Holy Spirit. Ask for the virtues to be poured to you through the Holy Spirit. Another time the Lord said, if you being evil,